<laughs> oh, this is really good. So, uh, no, welcome everyone. We had a technical glitch, you know, we really wanted to do it live on LinkedIn, but some of you uh, have noticed that, uh, you know, we couldn't uh, activate the, the uh, LinkedIn live. So we are going to do it uh, here on Zoom. Are we, are we are recording? So everyone who has every question, we hope that we can cover some of the questions that you still have uh, about joining the the conference in uh, in Geneva on the 13th and 14th of September. Um, but uh, I think for now, um, Noel, yes, you gave it back to me. Really great. But uh, <laughs> if you uh, just would like to start to give a short introduction, what are we going to do in Geneva? Yeah, thank you, Ingon. I can see that our more participants coming in and uh, excuse us for the small glitch that happened at the beginning. Uh, we are looking forward to having you at the conference on the 13th and the 14th of September in Geneva at the International Institute in Geneva. Uh, this conference is going to be our sixth conference and the first time to be taking place in Geneva, Switzerland. And uh, it is a journey of over two days, whereby the first day we are going to cover four sessions, the second day, three sessions. As with all our conferences, this conference is an action-based conference, whereby an action plan is going to take place at the end. It is more of a, a journey of empowerment, of inspiration, and at, at the, the most important thing is collective mm -hmm. impact. And when we talk about collective impact, uh, as you know, we female wave of change, you know, female wave of change is uh, strong. our vision and our belief is of inclusion and equity and accord and collaboration and empowerment. And that's why for the first time in our conference this time, we are inviting some, uh, you know, uh, other parties to our uh, conference. We are, we believe that our network and the ladies and the gentlemen who are within our network are great inspiration nevertheless we believe of partnerships we believe of collaborations we believe that impact has to be you know uh, it's like a wave the impact is you know a wave and can be moved by several parties and that's why we are we are starting with a session uh, that is going to be about uh, empowerment uh, and, uh, you know, we are inviting here, it's individual empowerment here, we are having uh, two uh, uh, female wave of change members and two non-members to speak and to tell their stories. And then well, we are going to move to growing from individual empowerment to uh, where we are going to have a panel discussion and uh, we will be having, you know, uh, from our network, uh, female wave of change uh, speakers. Then, uh, of course, the entertainment is going to be a, an old member of uh, female wave of change, Nandita, who have been one of the first to join female wave of change even before me. She was a female wave of change, and she disappeared. And we found her, and we found her at the last, at, at the good time, at the good place, at you know, in Geneva. She is living and working in Geneva and she was really thrilled to to rejoin us and to she got so inspired so happy and she will be singing with us she's a professional singer and she's preparing since you know we met a couple of weeks ago she's preparing for the event poems and so entertainment is going to be there and then we are having a session where we are growing from individual empowerment to collective impact and here we are having can I just we yes. are going to send them the whole program. So yes. just focus right now. Great, because you know all the details. Uh, I am going to ask some of the, the participants who are here, why yes. this, those who are here, why they think that we should join, you know, everyone else should join uh, this conference. I am coming back to you, uh, you know, in a couple of minutes, because I really want you to share why, for instance, we're going to, to visit uh, UN Women also in Geneva. Yes, yes, so yes I'm that's going a good to idea. Give, yeah, I'm going to give yeah. the floor now, for now, to Tabello, our uh, president. Yes. Um, also, you know, short, why do people need to really join us in Geneva? Thank you, Ingun, and good afternoon, good morning, good evening to everyone. Why should they join us? Um, why not? Um, we had an awesome conference last year, 
And after all the years of COVID and people meeting online, it was such a great opportunity for people to meet also on site. And, um, you know, the community and the excitement has grown to this year that our change makers want to meet, you know, together online and on site. But also, I mean, the organization is what, seven, eight years old? And, you know, we've done a lot of work in terms of individual empowerment. And we believe it's time now that we really start creating this wave of change where we collectively come together and align, you know, the efforts with our sister organizations that will be there. So we make this change that, you know, we've been speaking about in terms of creating a more, you know, um, humane world, a more connected world and a more conscious world. So yeah, that's why we want you to be there. Come and join us and engage with us, yes. you know, and have fun with us. Yes, we're also going to have fun. Absolutely, yes. that's uh, very, very important. And you were also the organizer of the 2019 uh, Global Conference in South Africa. So we had a lot of fun there, a lot of dancing and singing, and uh, really hope that that is going to be part of this, uh, uh, this conference as well. Uh, Robert, as one of the few, because Mohit is here as well, Robert, I really would like to ask you, you were there last year and you do, you are involved with many, you know, other women's uh, uh, initiatives, but you were really excited about what you saw last year and uh, I'm, you are going to join us uh, this year with a special project. So open the floor for you. Well, I, I really was impressed, you know, being there in between all these women with their great stories, their great narratives, uh, all uh, circling around the theme of authentic feminine leadership. And that was awesome. You know, <laughs> just to be there and to listen uh, to these stories, see the power of, you know, real female leadership qualities. Uh, that was amazing. And also in this new conference in September in Geneva, we will hear many of those stories and not only from an individual point of view, but also the impact it will have on the environment of each and every of these uh, women. And, and the impact is not only, you know, the impact within the family, within the immediate environment, but it actually could have a global impact. And that's where it becomes really important to be there, to interact with all the ladies, uh, you know, on site. Obviously, it's also possible to dial in and follow it online. You know, if for some reason you cannot travel to Geneva, Switzerland, uh, but I would urge everyone and not only the ladies, but, you know, being there as one of the first uh, men to support this female wave of change. Uh, also, I invite men uh, to be there and support this movement because we cannot do it alone. The, the women cannot do it by themselves. We need each other. And that's mm -hmm. why it's very good to be there uh, on site, interact, you know, and, and make this a global wave of change, you know, spreading love, care and wisdom around the mm -hmm. world. We need mm -hmm. it. And we need you to be there. Yeah, we really need it, uh, Robert. And uh, I really love it that you're uh, also going to be part of that conversation. How can we get, get more uh, collaboration with uh, with different groups, but also, you know, with the male, uh, you know, no. we, we really absolutely need that. So uh, that's good. Renee, I'm going to ask you to uh, yeah. uh, to share a little bit more about, you know, you're a former board member, but still, mm -hmm. you know, involved with uh, what we're doing and have seen, you know, quite some uh, global conferences. So uh, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Ingrid. And thank you, everyone. And uh, nice to be here. And I'm already waiting for so many ones to be in Geneva in a few weeks. And I think for me, there are two elements that are always so beautiful and so nice of this conference. One is, of course, to get together, uh, hug each other, also the new people, welcome them all, and sort of create this common community uh, with which uh, we, we will work together. 
and and we will do that the same uh, as I'm sure with the team in in Geneva. A beautiful program I've seen it, so it's it's really fantastic. The second part, which I really always love, is that you always see the individual oh, yeah. impact yeah. of our conference and the work we are doing besides the conference, and that is so satisfying it's so enriching you know that what what you're doing as an organization that it really hits home that it helps people and as robert said not only this person the family the society the community that he or she is in and i think that's the, that's the most beautiful feeling that i always take back from the conference and maybe then a third point we always take away an action which is really great so yes. i'm again yeah. looking forward yeah, well, I'm looking forward to see you as well, uh, Renee, and always supporting uh, uh, Female Wave of Change. So that's great. Uh, I see some people from uh, from the, the, the health team, uh, Dr. Selina, Lumka, uh, Mohit. There's going to be a very special moment at the conference uh, uh, led by the health team. Is there anyone who wants to jump in? Dr. Selina? Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, well, we're like really excited because we are going to be launching our, our book of collections on energy bandwidth that we've all contributed such rich information to and going to share some um, experiential kinds of um, workouts with everyone to leave them with a tool or two. And we are hoping to really... Uh, gather and have a wonderful uh, energy produced to this to this conference as we did last year um i think what was really beautiful about what happens with a female wave of change anything and everything is that there's such a love that just kind of transforms through everyone and the 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 amount of of togetherness that we shared last year i'm really looking forward to that um, and and that's so healing, and it's so it it feels almost like um, when you're letting go of some of your most you know authentic pieces of yourself to people that you never see, and then they embrace you when they see you and confirm that I heard you. What a cry! <laughs> that that to me was probably the most embracing, and I look forward to that this year. And the launching of the book, of course, but you know, there's a very special place in my heart for female wave of change, and I think that's why I put so much energy into it. Thank you for asking. Yes, wonderful thing. Thank you, Dr. Selena. Yes, I know. You know, the book is going to be launched. You know, we've been talking about it a lot, so uh, it's so great that finally we're going to really uh, uh, launch it at uh, at the conference. Um, I see Mary Jane here, and I know you have been involved with a lot of women's organizations. Uh, you were there last year in the, in the Netherlands, in Noordwijk. Anything that was so special about Female Wave of Change that you're going to join us this year again and now in Geneva? It was, and I've put that in one of the comments on the event. It was for me, and I've attended a lot of events. It was, for me, one of the most inspiring, impactful conferences that I've ever attended. Um, the stories that were shared, and it's such a, a, div a diverse group of women and men. We had a few men at the conference, hopefully more this year. But the, the diversity in backgrounds, uh, and yet the, the embracing of the commonalities that we had, the breakout rooms, the discussions that we had after the speakers, uh, it was inspiring. Inspiring, <laughs> great. <laughs> it is, and you feel the love. And sometimes people ask me, why do I come? I said, well, you need, you need to feel it, you know? And that is really something that is uh, happening when you're there in, in Geneva, but Robert already mentioned it. It's also online and really you feel you feel it through this whole internet that uh, that there is this that, that real authentic connection as well. I see Jane is here and I don't know if you can talk Jane and I know you finally this morning you had your visa organized so uh, you will be uh, you will be in Geneva. 
uh, Jane, can you share a little bit? You were there at the very first launch of Female Wave of Change in 2017 in the Netherlands. So it's really great to see you there as well this year. And I don't see you on mute. So I just keep on talking until you are mute. And yes, you are. The floor is yours. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much, Ingham. I'm so happy to be part of this conversation. I'm happy that I'm going to Geneva, though, yes, I'm yet to get my, my visa. I'm going to talk to Tebele on the side. There's just some small thing, wait, well, which I will be submitting tomorrow. Otherwise, I'm really happy. I'm so glad like that we have walked uh, the journey up to where we are today. I'm so excited that, uh, you know, about the uh, conference that took place in South Africa, and I can't just wait to um, connect with everyone to hear uh, their plans. I know this is a beautiful space, a space where you have everyone. You have women who have achieved so much and men who support women. So it's a great space where everyone should just come in and, and, and learn. You know, you never leave such a space uh with nothing you must just get something very powerful to take back home so i'm looking forward to networking with everyone i'm looking forward to you know just having this powerful 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 space and everyone on board and i'm more excited that i have more kenyans you know a lady just talked to me today and told me she's coming what is her name again just uh, i think milka milka oh yeah Yes, yes, yes. There's a lady who is going for her visa and I know we have Mary. So I'm just so excited and I can't wait yeah. to, uh, you know, just meet with all of them and just organize ourselves so we can organize better within our country and even globally. You know, what we should ask ourselves is like, uh, how many are we and how well do we want to grow and how do we just make sure that we are, we are harvesting from each and every one. We are learning, we are cross-learning, we are just enriching ourselves with information and opportunities. Otherwise, I'm so happy, just very happy. Thank you. <laughs> Good, thank you, Jane. Yes, uh, the, uh, Kenya will be really, really well represented this year. So it uh, will be great to see you. So, and I love this, this you, know, you know, also this African community, bring your songs and your beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> expect that. <laughs> that will be fantastic. I see that uh, Noor and Shada are here. Is, is uh, Noor or Shada, do you want to jump in? And uh, there's still, you know, the are you being in Geneva or are we joining online? But, you know, I know that you're working on uh, joining us from uh, Jordan, Lebanon, Anyone who wants to share? Noor, Shada? Yes, thank you, Ingun. Um, absolutely. I plan to be joining in person. I actually uh, met with uh, Nawal last month and uh, we talked about this. And uh, uh, I'm happy to be joining for the first time uh, in person, uh, one of those events. And looking forward to sharing also uh, a lot of the work we're doing in Jordan um, for female labor force participation and women empowerment. Um, I will uh, talk about also the work that uh, different organizations are doing. And I'm glad to be um, to, to see that UN Women is uh, also on our schedule because we do partner with them uh, here on the ground. So it will be interesting to exchange. And uh, I'm very looking uh, forward to uh, meeting with everyone and uh, listening to the agenda and the program uh, makes me feel more happy about the decision I made. Uh, I still have a few uh, steps to finalize, but uh, at least I can say my ticket is booked and confirmed. So I'll see you soon. <laughs> oh, that's so great. You know, it's... It's so fantastic to meet so many people from all over the world and get everyone in one room finally again. So that's uh, that's great. Shada, any any anything from you? Lumka, Anastasia, I see that you're here. Mohit, <laughs> just open. Hello, your... ladies. Yes, yeah, Shada. Hello, ladies. Hope all is well. I'm looking forward to meet you. Hope I will get the the visa and uh, hope uh, the airport will not 
Yeah. You're you're muted. Mute. Shadow, you're muted. Yeah, it really is an area right now in the world that uh, you know is. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Lack of uh, internet. I'm very excited. I repeat to meet you. Hope everything will be okay, and uh, will not uh, be obliged, yani, to close the airport or uh, something came uh, comes up. Hopefully, and hopefully I will get the visa. Mm -hmm. uh, I love you all. I miss seeing you. I really am very excited to meet you all. Each one of you is a story, a success story. I would love to know and uh, to meet. Uh, I want to thank Ingen uh, for uh, for this initiative because she's the one, she's the lady behind uh, from the beginning. Thank you, Ingen. Thank you, thank you for that opportunity. And thank you, Nawal. And Rene, it's very nice uh, to meet you. Hopefully, I can meet. And Tobello, I'm very excited to meet you. Hopefully, we can uh, meet. Noor, I'm uh, very excited uh, that you will come, even if I will not join uh, uh, Inshallah. But uh, I'm very uh, happy that you will be the Yes, I'll <laughs> see you, Inshallah, Shada. We still have time to get you mm -hmm. the visa. It's already hopefully, 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 you. hopefully everything will come uh, good. I I don't know about you, but we already feel feel it, you know. Already during this conversation, I cannot wait to get there in two weeks. So, um, Tabello, I'm going to give short to you back, and then uh, Nawal uh, uh, shares a little bit more about you, and and then you finalize. Okay, so Tabello first. Okay. Thanks, Ingun. So, um, yeah, we've heard all the stories from everyone and um, really, uh, you know, looking forward to meeting everybody there and having, you know, those inspiring conversations with you. Um, even if you're joining us online, please, I know many of you have also registered online. Last year, we saw people stay online from the beginning of the conference right until the last moment of the conference. And so if you've joined online, please, again, um, you know, join us. Uh, and we're looking forward. I'm looking forward to going to Geneva. I've never been to Geneva before. I'm looking forward to visiting the UN. It's never been a dream of mine to be to the UN until I came to Female Wave of Change. So now I can visit the UN. <laughs> so thank you to the organizing team. And the lead of our organizing team is Nawal. Let me hand over to her. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Tabello. Thank you all for the feedback. Yes, I, I, we, we are really pleased and we're really thrilled to hear the, your feedback about uh, the global conferences that has already passed and the upcoming one. And we, as much as Noor and, uh, you know, Jane and everybody are excited to, to meet again and to see each other, we are all excited to having you. Uh, as uh, Tabello was mentioning, we, a female wave of change have been, you know, uh, here for over seven years now. And uh, this year, we thought that the impact and this wave has to be a little bit stronger. And that's why this is what Ingun was mentioning. That's why we thought we want to engage other parties. Because when we talk about female wave of change, not everybody knows about female wave of change, you know, unless we talk about it. And that's why we always tell our members to talk what, about female wave of change, to engage more people so that the impact will be bigger. And that's why we thought that it is time to, to, to present the female wave of change to the international platform. That's why we are engaging with the World Trade Organization, WTO, and we are having our keynote speaker from the WTO, which is uh, Ms. Anoush Bogashian. Ms. Anoush is a very lovely lady. When I called her, to ask her about her agenda and to take an appointment so that she can check if she can attend as a keynote speaker. We talked about a little bit about the female wave of change. And I told her about what we are doing, what we have been doing about our members. And before we ended our meeting, she confirmed that, and she said, 
uh, I said, check your agenda and come back to me. And she said, no, it is confirmed. I want to be there. And this is, you know, the action. And this is the, the feeling that we usually see from the others when he, you, we, they hear about us. And that's why we felt that it is our duty to connect with them. The WTO, the Women of Trade, OWET. We are, of course, the director of the UN Women in Geneva. She is, you know, she just moved to Geneva. She did not, you know, handle her, uh, took her office yet, but she sent a message that she would love to join us and to hear and to know more about uh, to us. Uh, Noor is our ambassador in Jordan, but she is going to represent the World Bank as well. And what are they doing? And as you heard her, she is, you know, going to tell us more about, you know, their connection. So these connections, when they know about us, we will be able to make this wave stronger. So accordingly, this was a very important uh, thing for us to start moving and, be, you know, making the impact bigger by connecting. These uh, organizations started talking about part partnerships with us, about collaboration, about finding ways, and this is exactly what we want. So this is why we believe that, you know, this year is a bit different. We have engaged some other non-members, but we believe that after this, they become part of us. They will become members and partners, and accordingly, we will be able to achieve more impactful, you know, uh, actions for all our members, and hopefully, this will be will lead to uh, more waves of change in the future. Uh, so, as I mentioned at the beginning, it's going to be over two year, two days. I wish it's two years, <laughs> two days, and these two days are interactive. Uh, it is not a conference that you will sit and listen. No, prepare yourself to interact and speak and share. And, you know, it is an interactive uh, uh, conference with an action plan at the end. And uh, there will be, of course, the visit to the United Nations, which has been arranged. Uh, a bus is going to take us there. And then there will be also a tour in Geneva for two hours before heading to at night to the um, uh, award-winning uh, conference that is going to take place at a nice restaurant by the Lake of Geneva. So basically, uh, there is many reasons other than the inspiration, the empowerment, meeting each other, networking, to be there, to be there in person. And of course, for those who cannot make it online, we will be trying to, uh, we will be, you know, with you online in the conference room where the conference is taking place and we will try to make it live also during the uh, visit, during the dinner, as we did last year. You lived with us these moments and it's very important because the awards are not going to be all, only for people in person, they are online. So basically we want also all the people who would be online, our members and non-members to join us because maybe you'll hear your name with an award, why not? So basically, this is what we are preparing for you. Really looking forward, really working from the heart and we can feel, you know, how people are feeling this, uh, you know, uh, energy that we are putting here in Geneva to prepare for it because we can see that everybody's excited with this energy and uh, really looking forward to the 13th and the 14th of September uh, at the International Institute in Geneva. This is the university where I work, the institute, and it is on my other home, so I will be in but you will be at my other home as well. <laughs> Thank you, Naval. And we'll post the program and we'll post the registration link, you know, right in the comments uh, of this uh, of this session. And I already saw that Anastasia, also from Kenya, is uh, going to join us at least online. So, uh, you know, next time, Anastasia, you will join us wherever we are in the world. So uh, really looking forward to see you all. And uh, yes, register. Don't doubt anymore. Just make sure that you join us in Geneva or online. See you the 13th and 14th of September. Bye bye. Bye, everyone.